no, 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 guys so today was a bit of a letdown because you know we were supposed to take a small train right across the bridge right across the go take our uh, rear deck but didn't happen because our train got delayed so yeah we, we just didn't have the chance to get on the bridge you know take a few photos we only have like a chance to take photo from the train itself so yeah Maybe we can try it next time. you bro
wait, wait, wait. Like this. Again, again. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Classic Elgin joke. Expectation versus reality. What? <laughs> So they they paid they paid seven dollar fifty cents just to enter this park, see some flowers, and turns out no flowers. <laughs> so what Danish was doing just now was uh, imitation of Elgin. So at Mingo, hey, no, it was in Bagan. It was in Bagan. At Bagan, Elgin went to a random guy. He looked Chinese, so he, he thought he's Chinese. So he just walked to the guy and he just started saying, Oh, can you pong or Pai Chang? And the guy was like, Ah, oh, sorry, uh, I'm not Chinese. No, no, it's <laughs> like, I'm not Chinese. <laughs> I'm not Chinese. <laughs> and the awkward moment, you know. So, yeah, that's where the jokes come from. So, from now onwards, every time we see Elgin, it's gonna be not hey, hi, hey bro, what's up? No, it's not gonna be like that. It's gonna be oh, oh okay. See you guys. <laughs> <laughs> at all these colorful flowers so pretty especially this one I really don't understand why they wouldn't allow me to fly my drone in the park. I mean for Bogotas and you know, police station, army, army camp, I can't understand but the park? What? Hey guys, how are you? I would probably feed you guys but the shop is closed. Sorry guys. Sorry for sorry that I'm late. When I went over then they 
Burmese curry delight. Yo, Burmese food man. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I just want to talk, talk a little bit. So today, train what train ride was really, really fun. Wind, winding around the big mountains and the the two the, crossing the bridge that connect the two mountains and it's like around 700 meter or more um, if, if I'm not wrong can't remember I, I read it on Google this afternoon but you know oh, it was really really nice and the funny thing about tra the train ride is we saw a lot of bugs because you know the train ride is mostly around the around the farms and it, it it, some of the some of the routes it just cut through the farms and we saw like 10 20 different kinds of bugs all sorts of different color red yellow green you name it yeah, that was pretty interesting and yeah and I I was I was telling you guys that upper class and lower class doesn't have doesn't make much of a difference but at the bridge it does because you know upper class there's not not a lot of people on the cabin so you should you can just switch around like, there's nobody on sitting on the chair so if you, if you don't like the view here you can go to go to the other side and you know take a better picture take a bit uh, take in a better view because on one of the side when crossing the viaduct uh, go take viaduct we saw really really nice big waterfall I don't know if my GoPro got that but it was just it was just beautiful I mean most most of the scenery we couldn't take we couldn't take with our camera with our phone but it's just it's more like an experience it was really really nice oh my God. usually um, yeah by the way usually people like to take the train from Mandalay all the way to Sibor Tibor but I don't really recommend that because it's it's a long ride from Pyeongluen Pyeongluen to uh, the bridge itself is around three to four hours depending on the the speed of the train. Sometimes it it just slow down for I don't know what's the reason. Yeah, so I don't think it's worth it. You know, to ride all the way from Mandalay, you have to wake up like four thirty in the morning. I'm not sure. I'm not for me. Not for me because. I think four hour, four hours enough to 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 experience everything. You experience a lot, like you see different kinds of views. There are a lot of streams, uh, water bisons like buffalo, cows. You will see a lot on the way itself. You know, most of the time we are like we see something, and then we take our cameras. But by the time we on our cameras, you know, on our GoPro. We we already we already have passed the moments, so yeah, it's more it's more kind of like a experience. And one of the downside is you know when we reach Gote, we're supposed to ride a small train, smaller train to you know go to the bridge itself. You know stop by at a few. So we will just you know stop by at a few stop. You know take photos. That didn't happen because of our train. It got delayed, so so there the the viaduct viaduct viaduct. It only have like a one way one way. It's a, like a one way street, so you know two trains cannot cross at the same time. So we, our train got delayed. So everything they can they can you know get give us you know the right to you know experience the experience the photos you know take photos and stuff like that so yeah that was disappointing apart from that everything was good and 
this evening we went to the Kenoji Lake, Kenoji Park. It was it was okay for me because I paid around like two three dollars, but <laughs> my friends my friend right there, they pay like seven dollar fifty cents, around there, and we were we were quite late we were quite late we only had like one hour to explore the whole park, and some of the some of the <laughs> some of the places they haven't even planted any any of the flowers, so yeah, that was also a bit of a letdown. But it was it was really really chill, really really relaxed. You know, the air is fresh. It's cold wind blowing. So really really nice experience. Oh, and by the way, dinner. Let's talk about dinner. I can't. I don't think I can stay long any longer in Myanmar because every time I eat dinner here, I had food coma. I I I, I just ate a lot you know the food here is just oh, it's just amazing if i stay here for like another two three months i'm i'm gonna be overweight i'm gonna be obese i'm pretty sure about that so yeah i need to do something about eating you know good food in here i need to cut down but anyway i'm already leaving Myanmar because i'm going for my uni next month July 4th so yeah I'm gonna miss everything 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 about Myanmar this whole trip with my friends and tomorrow tomorrow we'll be going hiking to a waterfall it's not really it's not very popular but I've, I've saw I've seen the pictures it's really really beautiful and I can fly my drone I I can get my drone shots in this today in the park I was like I wanted to fly my drone you know there's a big lake I want to you know, do my thing but when I bought the ticket they just straight away told me hi sir is that a drone oh you're not you're not allowed to fly here I was like why it's just a park they just they didn't give me any reason so. But I respect them. I respect them. I didn't. I didn't even open my drone. I didn't even touch it. So yeah, I think that's enough for today of me talking. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll see you guys in another vlog. Bye.